हेलो गाइस वेलकम बैक टू माय चैनल आई एम अरमोगान एंड यू आर वाचिंग निंजा इरा की दिन आर यूट्यूब चैनल होपफुली यू ऑल डूइंग वेल गॉड विल गिव यू मोर हैप्पीनेस फॉर यू ऑल आई ट्राई माय लेवल बेस्ट टू गिव यू अ लेटेस्ट अपडेट अबाउट इरा की दिन आर सो गाइस लेट्स स्टार्ट टुडे द इनफॉरमेशन इन अ रीसेंट अपडेट फ्रॉम इंटेल गुरु फ्रैंक 26 We gained some fascinating insights from the ground in Iraq, particularly from Firefly, who shared details of a significant television interview with Iraqi Prime Minister Sudani. This interview explored various aspects of Iraq's economic reforms and future plans, providing a glimpse into the country's direction and potential financial strategies. Firefly reported that the television interview featured Sudani addressing key issues concerning Iraq's economic progress. Sudani expressed a strong sense of optimism, stating that Iraq is stronger than ever and that numerous projects are ready for implementation. This statement alone is a positive signal, indicating that the government is confident in its path and the robustness of its economic plans. For those closely following the Dinar RV, such affirmations can be seen as promising signs of stability and progress. Sudani discussed the ongoing topic of removing zeros from the Iraqi dinar, a concept known as redenomination. This involves adjusting the nominal value of the dinar by eliminating zeros, potentially simplifying financial transactions and reflecting a stronger currency. Sudani's affirmation that this plan remains under consideration suggests that the Iraqi government is still committed to significant monetary reforms. This continued commitment is crucial for investors and observers seeking concrete steps toward currency stabilization and revaluation. Frank 26 commented on this update, noting the positive nature of Sudani's repeated assertions. According to Frank 26, the consistent emphasis on this plan is a strong indicator that significant changes might be imminent. When a leader frequently emphasizes a particular point, it often means that preparations are being made for its implementation. This repeated mention of the currency reform plan, specifically the deletion of zeros, indicates that the Iraqi government is aligning all necessary elements to move forward with this strategy. Additionally, Frank 26 expressed enthusiasm about the discussions regarding a fixed rate versus a floating rate for the dinar. The debate between these two approaches is critical. A fixed exchange rate pegs the dinar to a stable currency, providing predictability and stability. During times of economic transition, having a fixed exchange rate can be particularly beneficial. On the other hand, a floating rate allows the dinar's value to fluctuate based on market conditions, which can lead to greater volatility. but also reflect true market dynamics more accurately. Frank 26 suggests that Iraq might adopt a unique approach by initially floating the dinar at a fixed rate and then quickly capping it. This hybrid strategy could offer the best of both worlds. The initial stability of a fixed rate to build confidence and then allowing some level of market adjustment to reflect economic realities. Such a strategy could help manage the dinar's value more effectively. ensuring a smoother transition and minimizing potential market shocks. This perspective aligns with the broader narrative of Iraq's cautious yet determined approach to its economic reforms. The government's steps towards implementing these reforms reflect a careful balancing act between maintaining stability and embracing necessary changes. For those invested in the Dinar RV, understanding this nuanced approach is crucial. It demonstrates that while rapid changes might not be immediately visible, there is a deliberate and structured plan in place. As we continue to monitor these developments, it's important to recognize the complexities involved in such significant economic reforms. The process of deleting zeros and adjusting exchange rates is not just a financial decision, but also a political and social one. Achieving this goal requires broad agreement, careful planning, and a stable environment to ensure success. Sudan's interview and insights from Firefly highlight the Iraqi government's awareness of these complexities and their cautious approach. In summary, the latest updates from Intel Guru Frank 26 and the on the ground report from Firefly provide valuable insight into Iraq's ongoing economic reforms and the potential revaluation of the dinar. Prime Minister Sudan's confirmation of these plans and the strategic discussions surrounding exchange rates offer promising signs of progress for those closely following the Dinar RV. 
these developments indicate that significant changes could be on the horizon. As always, staying informed and understanding the broader context will be crucial to navigating this dynamic situation. Thank you for watching our channel Iraqi Dinar RV. Stay tuned for more updates and in-depth analysis on this evolving story. Thank you for watching. Please like and subscribe for more new videos.